It's okay. very interesting, uh, Rahul, because, you know, just linked to that is the next question that you pose. Because I think that will give you a sense of why people seem to look at uh, economy one, uh, in, in one way and look at issues linked to nationalism and pride in, in India in a different way. The question you've asked, which issue would help the BJP most in 2024? And the answer is 33% say PM's guarantee, guarantee the word, of making India number three economy. Number two, Ram Temple, 17%, and implementation of UCC, which has now come into, in a way, the, uh, as, as a talking point, 12%. So you add all of that, that comes to 62% in a way. These are all issues which, in a way, are linked to both Hindutva as well as a sense of pride in the idea of India. We're going to be the number three. Why would you vote for the BJP in 2024? Prime Minister Modi, 44%. Development, 12%. Hindutva, 14%. So, in a way, this Moditva, this word that I like to take... Uh, from the from the voters who said that uh, they would vote for uh, that's right BJP. so essentially what you're yeah. saying when i look at prime minister modi plus hindutva it seems that prime minister modi 44 percent versus hindutva 14 so it's the prime minister's prime minister, persona yeah, yeah. Which, seems to one more, which seems yeah. to tower over other issues they, apart from prime minister as the poll thing uh, uh, i mean uh, for the bjp in the in terms of getting the votes there's one very interesting uh, number uh, rahul which uh, I think if we get the graphic of uh, the most important issue here, I can walk, <laughs> walk it down to you because 10 years back when we were doing this poll, Raj, in, 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 in uh, August 2012, I remember very clearly that the first three issues, two of them remain the same. That is inflation and unemployment. The third issue at that point of time was corruption. And that is a very, very dangerous mix. You know, when you have inflation unemployment and corruption coming as a top three recall, then you have a definitive anger aimed at that, okay, we have got these two issues because of the third issues. Remarkably, in the last nine years, not even once in MOTN, we have got perceived corruption as counted as among the top issues or problem uh, that people are facing. And I guess that is a very, very big, uh, uh, you know, uh, differentiator as far as how people look at their problem and how people look at their solutions are concerned. Uh, uh, apart from Mr. Modi's popularity, I think that one issue stands out what we did in 10 years back, that data and today's data. It's just, precisely 10 years. I just like to, you know, you could look at it the other way. Uh, in the previous polls, the biggest achievement used to be the building of Ram Temple, uh, all the Hindutva agenda, you know, revocation of Article 370. If you look now, it's changed towards COVID, handling of code, generally which symbolizes mm -hmm. Mr. Modi's competence as a prime minister and therefore even the other things. We will vote for Mr. Modi. We will vote for, when you take a look at uh, this business of making it a three million, I mean, uh, the, the third largest economy, that's an economic dream. It's not something to do with Hindutva. So while he has very neatly brought in the Hindutva and this thing, he's not, the projection for the people is economic. They would like to see the economy, and therefore, if you look at the failures, that's part of the problem. But they're also voting him back because they think that he's probably more competent than any of the others to handle the economy. 